So today I'm talking about upper and lower split and how to level it up. So if we are talking about hypertrophy training, the first thing when it comes to mind when I do mention the upper lower split is a split of four days per week. So this is an Excel table we have here from Monday to Sunday and we must schedule now the upper days, the lower days and the rest days. So the typical split looks like follows. We are doing on Monday an upper day, then on Tuesday we are following with the lower day, then we have a rest day and then we repeat the same thing. So we do an upper lower once again and the weekend, Saturday and Sunday is off. So this is the standard upper lower split in the past. If you remember there was a program Lyle McDonald's generic bulking program. So actually back in the days I did follow it. And this was the standard structure. It's okay, it's decent, but you can level it up to a five day upper lower split or even a 60 upper lower split. You see, the problem with this kind of split is when you are looking at your upper days compared to your lower body days, because the upper body has much more individual muscles compared to the lower body, you will have a very long list of exercises there and this workout day will drag for very long compared to the lower body days. So if you have only time available for four workouts per week and you can only run such split, the key that separates a bad program for a good program is on the lower body days you must incorporate lifts that not only target your legs but also the other muscles. For example, we are talking about the neck, we are talking about upper traps, about side delts, rear delts, abs, calves, for example, even some chin-ups or pull-ups. These should be of consideration of not putting in the upper body this, but in the lower body day. And also supersets and giant sets will be key. But that's a theme for other videos but I wanted to make a point here what separates a good 4 day upper lower split from a bad upper lower 4 day split. Now if you want to level up this split because this limits our frequency for each muscle group to twice per week. So I wanted to have a split which allows me to work out a muscle group 3 times per week because in the past I did find out frequency for strength training is very important same as for hypertrophy training, it's still important. I had in my mind only this template, it looked good, but I really wanted to push it to three times per week frequency. So the next is the five day version. We could program it like follows. So I really did like the three times full body workout approach on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we could keep the upper body days as it were on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that way we have the three times per week frequency. And then we, leave the lower days at two. So for example, on Tuesday, Thursday, and if you want to have the weekend off, you can do it. Problem with this split is you will be training five consecutive days in a row. And I don't like the rest days after the lower body training. So here you will hit lower body on Tuesday and you only have one rest day, then on Thursday you have to hit it once again. And after that you will have Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday off. So four days off. So it didn't make that much sense for me. After the first leg day you have only one day off. After the second leg day you have four days off. It didn't make that much sense. I only use such a variation on a busy week when I will know I have somewhere to travel on the weekend, I have some meetings, some stuff to do, so Saturday and Sunday must be off. So this could be a consideration. The priority is for me anyways, right now my upper body work. So I hit the three days of upper body, but still on a busy week, I get in the two lower days. I don't need to skip them. So that's the consideration. Now, if you want to improve this five day split, we can do it as follows. The upper body days are solid. So we leave them at Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The lower days we schedule it like this. So on Tuesday we leave it the lower body day and the second lower body day goes into Saturday. And then we have still two days off. So Thursday, Sunday. So it's still a five day 
variation, but now it's a little bit better. We will not train five consecutive days in a row. So we will have three workouts then rest day. And after the first lower body session, we will have three days off. And after the second lower body session, we will have two days off. So that's a way better rest day split between the lower body workouts compared to the last. And actually this is the split that I am following right now, but you can take it a level further. And this is the six day upper lower split. And it would look like this. So you do Monday, Tuesday, upper lower, Wednesday, Thursday, upper lower, Friday, Saturday, upper lower, and Sunday's off. So that's the six day variation of the upper lower split. On paper, it looks frightening to train upper body with the frequency of three times per week and also the same for lower body and training for six consecutive days in a row. But in reality, it's not that bad if you do program each day well. Upper body days are pretty much self-explanatory. The key will be how you will plan here the lower days. For example, if the lower body is not that high of importance for me, also we must take in consideration that to recover from lower body days, from leg training, it takes a lot more time. So maybe then this variant of the five day split is better. Then we can do it like follows here, this lower body day on Thursday. What I did was I keep it as an optional day, but most of the time I will do it. Only I will not do it when I need to Saturday and Sunday be off. So on this lower body day, I'm not training the lower body, but I'm training the muscle groups that are trained at Tuesday and Saturday on the lower body days. In particular, I'm talking here about the neck, upper traps, calves and abs. So I really want to have a frequency of three times per week for these muscle groups. I'm hitting them on lower body days. So that's why I can do them here on Thursday, on this day. And the legs, I'm okay with training them two times per week. So Tuesday, Saturday, that's good. So this could be a consideration for sure. Now, another thing to consider that I forgot to mention, if you want to focus on lower body, for example, you can take this five day variation and flip it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you do lower body. So you have three lower body days and upper you do on Tuesday and Saturday. I think that's pretty rare for most people. Many of you are for sure interested in developing your upper body, but if you want to focus on lower body, you can switch it up. And from my experience, you can train on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the lower body, hence the three times full body workout that I did in the past. I did hit legs three times per week and having a day in between to recover we will not hammer them very hard it's doable. For naturals, keep in mind that after performing a workout, muscle protein synthesis is elevated for 24 to 48 hours. That means if you do it here on Monday, an upper body day, then on Wednesday, you're ready to go once again. And what I do like about the split is, for example, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you have the upper body days and each will be 48 hours apart. But after finishing on Friday, you will have Saturday and Sunday off. So Monday will come after 72 hours. So that's a good structure of this program. Hence why I am running it. Now, when it comes down to beginners, novices, I used to recommend an approach of three full body workouts per week. I still think it's a good approach if you are very busy, but let's say you are a beginner and you want to train more. You want to be more in the gym, four days, five days, six days. I think then a variation of the upper lower split could be even better than the three times full body. And you can choose something from this, but my recommendation for beginners is always the frequency of three times per week. So you want to practice each lift three times per week, hit each muscle group three times per week, 
basic rep progression. So I think something like a five day or six day variation could even work for beginners. So here are the last two variations. So yeah, three times full body is not the only choice for beginners. You can do also a five or six day upper lower split if you have the time for it. So this is how you can set up an upper lower split for maximum hypertrophy gains. The next video I recommend to you watching this one. So this is the introduction video of the series how I am completely restructurizing my training. So this is it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it and see you soon next time. Bye.